Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw an owl. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Draw the marks for the circle's width slightly farther apart than the marks for the circle's length so that it's more like an oval. Connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the oval. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. Draw a curved horizontal line across the head. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Add a vertical line at the top for another construction guide. On top of the head, draw two small arcs for the horns, which are actually tufts of feathers. Pay attention to the sizes and positions of the arcs in relation to the head. Under the head, draw a big circle as a guide for the top part of the body. Use the small marks method to draw this circle too. First, make a few small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. This circle should be about one and a half times the size of the head. At the bottom, make a small mark for the lower half of the body. Connect the small mark to the circle using curved lines to finish the guide for the lower half of the body. This guide should be similar to an upside-down arc. Pay attention to how big this guide is in relation to the circle. Connect the head to the body using a couple of short lines to create the guide for the neck. Draw a series of short curved lines near the bottom of the body as guides for the feet. Most of these lines should be inside the body. Draw a small rectangular shape under the body as a guide for the tail. This shape is made up of two vertical lines with a short horizontal line at the bottom. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small angular shape for the beak. This shape should be similar to a diamond. Draw the beak where the two guidelines intersect. When you get the size and position of the beak right, darken the lines. Make the left edge of the beak curved. Make the bottom tip pointy. Draw a couple of short curved lines inside the beak to emphasize the curvature of the shape. Lightly sketch sloping lines on the sides of the beak for the brow. These lines should extend to the inside of the tufts. When you get the shapes right, darken the lines using short strokes for a feathery texture. Under the brow, lightly sketch two small circles for the eyes. Place the eyes on either side of the beak and on top of the horizontal construction guide. Pay attention to how big the eyes are in relation to the head. When you get the sizes and positions of the eyes right, darken the shapes. Don't overlap the brow as you draw the eyes. Make the sides of the eyes slightly pointy for the corners of the eyes. Inside each eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for highlights. In the middle of each eye, draw a small circle for the pupils. Shade in the pupils, but don't overlap the tiny highlight circles. Draw a few short lines around the eyes for the texture on the feathers. 
keep these lines close to the shape of the eyes. Use the arcs on top of the head as guides to draw the tufts of feathers. Extend the line for the brows inside the tufts. Darken the shapes of the arcs using short strokes for a feathery texture. Make the tips of the tufts pointy. Use the initial oval as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Darken the sides of the oval to create the shape of the head. Make the shape of the head slightly flatter than the initial oval. Draw a few short strokes on the sides of the beak for a feathery texture. Add more short strokes along the edges of the head to form a disc that's made up of feathers. Add a few short strokes on the top part of the head to emphasize the brow. Use the curved lines on the bottom left side of the body as a guide to draw the first foot and toes. First, lightly sketch the shape of the foot and toes around the guidelines. Keep the edges of the toes close to the guidelines so that the shape is thin. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Draw a small thin shape on the tip of each toe for the talons. Curve the talons and make them pointy. Make the tips of the toes round. Use the curved line on the right as a guide to draw the other toes the same way. Lightly sketch the shape of the toes around the guidelines and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Draw the thin pointy talons on the tip of each toe. Use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. The sides of the body should be made up of long continuous lines. Draw a long line near the right edge of the body for the folded wing. Add another line on the left side of the body for the other folded wing. Draw a few short strokes at the bottom for the feathery base of the feet. Darken the rectangular shape at the bottom to create the tail. Make the bottom part of the tail rounder. Draw a series of short lines inside the tail for the individual feathers. Curve the feathers so that they're similar to the letter U. Draw a few horizontal lines at the bottom to create a branch. It's okay to overlap the tail as you draw this shape. When you draw this shape, overlap only the toe that's pointing backward. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Draw a speckled like pattern all over the body. Draw a series of spots and bars across the body for the pattern. Leave a few sections blank along the face and neck for the white feathers. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Don't overthink it as you draw the pattern. Just draw small squiggly horizontal lines all over the body. As you add the pattern, use strokes that go in the direction of the feathers. 
Add a light value inside the eyes but don't overlap the tiny highlight circles. Create some shadows throughout the body using a darker value. As you add the pattern, separate each stroke a bit so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a more feathery texture. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you shade for a more accurate depiction of an owl. Add some value to the branch as well. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the owl. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.